What's up YouTube? Welcome back sa channel ko. Isa na naman unboxing video ang gagawin natin. Today, mag unbox tayo ng Jordan 11 Jubilee. So, wag kayong aalis. It's coming right up. For the last 10 years, tuwing magpapasko na, laging may Jordan 11 na lumalabas. And this year, Kahit na COVID, COVID is not stopping Jordan, they still release the Jordan 11. Titingnan natin ang mga details, so umpisahan na natin. Even the box is different. Yung typical box talaga ng 11 is like there's a pull tab tapos hihilain mo siya. Last year, sinimplified nila, a flip box lang siya. But this year is something special. Maganda yung box which is a black and silver jam man. Last time ako nakakita ng similar concept na box na ganito is sa uh, Ultra Boost 19 na pangumans. Diagonal din siya nagbubukas. May tab siya tapos ibubuksan mo siya. However, with this one, bubuksan mo tong black muna. Itataas mo siya. And then, pag tinaas mo siya, then you open the silver part. Tapos meron tayong napakagandang tissue paper na meron siyang silver jumpman na nakalagay 1995 to 2020 which is 25 years. As I said, marami kayong maririnig ng mga 25 year hints dito because that's what they're celebrating. So meron tayong return label. And let's look at the shoe guys. So ito ang shoes guys. Ito yung first impression natin. Napaganda niya guys. This one looks amazing. Wow! These are fire guys. Super, super sick. What do you think about the shoes babe? Yeah, I like them. I like them. Woo! I love talking about 11s cause like I said, this is sa mga pinaka-paborito kong silhouette. Nung bata ako, ito yung unang-unang Jordan na trip na trip ko na hindi ko ma-afford. Even nung nag-uumpisa na ako ng trabaho, hindi ko pa rin ma-afford to. And like now, I have a few in my collection which is super sick. Imagine for the last 10 years, every holiday, nagso-sold out ang mga shoe na to within minutes. Not even an hour, within minutes, it's sold. And it's not like they're limited pairs. They produce a million or more than a million every holiday. One of the record-breaking shoes ever pagdating sa Jordan brand or I think on any other shoes that's out there. Imagine mo yun, like napakaliit na time frame tapos nagso-sold out lahat sila for 10 years every single year kahit anong colorway ang ilabas nila normally online straight away sold out ang mga to siguro may mga may makikita kang mga maliliit na shops na hindi masyadong alam ng mga tao which is sometimes they have one or two pairs left pero kadalasan guys this is selling out every Christmas holiday. That's why super iconic to. Isa sa mga pinakamagandang ginawa ni Tinker Hatfield. Man, super amazing designer that guy. So, let's talk about the details of the shoe. From underneath, you have this nice, creamy outer sole. And then you have a herringbone traction underneath, which is gray. That represents the silver jubilee. On the side of the shoe, meron tayong carbon fiber na plate. You have a white midsole. Patent leather siya all the way through from toe box hanggang sa heel, which is all black and shiny. Para uli akong bata, pag nagigita ko yung 11, kung gano sila, super ganda. Sa side dito, meron siyang cut. Dito rin sa likod, meron siyang cut yung patent leather niya. Tapos, meron siyang parang pinaka hard mesh. That's why nare-return niya pa rin yung form niya. Kahit ilang beses mo siyang isuot o ilang beses ka mag-flex, it will still retain its form. At the back top of the shoe, yung silver na 23. It's a little bit embossed. Para siyang hard plastic tapos dinikit nila tapos emboss siya normally yung jumpman sa 11 embroidered siya this one is almost like a pendant or a keychain na uh, metal tapos dinikit nila dito I think that's a super super good touch kung mapapansin nyo guys pagdating sa mga Jordan 
ang 11 ang isa sa mga pinaka-minimal pagdating sa branding. Wala siyang swoosh or wala siyang malaking jamman or wala siyang emblem na logo. Makikita mo lang na Jordan siya because of this little jamman on the side. It's probably not noticeable pero yung mga gray na yun, if you see it, it spells out Jordan. Rope laces na black. Ang tang na to, gawa rin siya sa mesh. Tapos sa gitna ng tang, meron siyang nakatahi na leather na Jumpman logo nag-improve sila, marami silang in na extra touches para maging special ang shoe na to kung di nyo pa nakikita yung ibang collection ko na 11 na ginawan ko ng video I will leave a link on the top somewhere, so check that out pagkatapos ng video na to super clean siya You can wrap this with anything. So, ang resale value ng ito, guys, pag sa umpisa, hindi masyadong malaki. But I would think with this 11th and they are 25th anniversary, once in a lifetime lang ang 25th year anniversary, siguradong gusto nilang ma-add ito sa collection nila. Kaya in the long run, ang resale value nito ay magiging malaki. So, at the moment, guys, ang resale value nito ay umaabot ng 215 to 258. So, mas mahal obviously yung mga base sizes at saka malalaking sizes. So, don't be concerned. Like I said, for the last past 10 years, this shoe never went down when it comes to resale value. So, rest assured, your money is safe. So, even if you resell it now, you still get your money back and a little bit more lunch money. Everyone will want to go for this shoe because it's easy to fit on anything and it's a silver anniversary so it adds more commemorative value but before we go guys gusto ko lang i-compare itong release ng Jubilee which is this year's release 2020 compare sa Playoff Breads which one do you like between these two the Playoff Breads or yung bagong labas na Jubilee for me both of them hindi ako makapagpili pero kung talagang isa lang siguro yung dapat kong piliin kahit na silver Jubilee anniversary to pipiliin ko pa rin yung breads because of the colorway I just like the hints of red on this one talagang it pops when it comes to that kind of colorway quick comparison lang guys ang naiiba is dito pagdating sa mga eyelets nya meron siyang Jordan na kasulat dito at dito plain lang siya. at sa middle ng tang nya guys normally gawa lang sa nylon to chap, tapos tinahe but this one is like leather siya na emboss which is a better quality at saka sa likod guys this one like I said super ganda nya 23 na para siyang embossed na hard plastic dito para lang siyang printed so karamihan guys this will fade in time lalo na pag sinusuot nyo lagi nagagasgas siya sa pantalon nyo or when you pulling it cause wala naman siyang pull tab pagdating naman sa Jumpman logo nila sa side obviously yung Jubilee nag-add sila ng extra touch which is made of silver metal but other than that guys wala silang inaba Jordan 11 pa rin siya high patent leather pa rin pati yung height ng patent leather cuts nila parehas so let me know what you think guys on the comment section did you guys cop this shoe did you like this shoe comment lang kayo and let me know what you think so that's it guys for this special shoe the Jordan 11 Jubilee kung bago pa lang kayo sa channel ko, please like and share and subscribe. Malaking tulong yun para sa akin guys at para sa channel ko. With that being said guys, enjoy nyo yung holiday nyo. Enjoy nyo yung Pasko nyo. Be with your family and all that good stuff. And I see you on the next one. Peace.